Hello. Okay, I'm here today to talk to you about why I think this is the perfect SOTA handheld radio. Don't turn off, this is not another Chinese piece of junk. I bought this, this was delivered including tax for £12 to my home in North East Scotland. And it's a, it's a Quan Sheng. And um, it's superb for SOTA. I've got three or four reasons I'm going to tell you why. First of all, when you pick it up, you know, we're uh, counting grams, aren't we? This is the lightest handheld I've ever used. Um, it's easy to use with, uh, with gloves on. So for example, big orange knob at the top, turns it on, and you've got your two bands there. If I want to open the squelch up fully for weak signals, I just uh, I, I press the button on the side. Squelch open, squelch closed. How easy is that? This is not a dirty radio. It does not splatter all over the spectrum. I tested this on a, um, a spectrum analyzer. Lots of people have, haven't they? You've seen the videos. It is actually clean. It's over. We'll come on to batteries in a minute, but that was my GoPro battery running out in the extreme cold. Um, as I said, I've tested this, it's over 40 dB down on the, on the first harmonic. It is really, really clean. I've also tested the power, it outputs a full 5 watts on the 2 meter band. Okay, I'm going to give it a fighting chance today, I'm activating the Sota Summit with it. Uh, ben Avour, Golf Mike Echo Sierra 004, a real high one. And um, yeah, okay, the Nagoya Whip does the job. Remember, it's a reverse SMA on some of these Chinese radios, so you may have to buy an alternative whip. But uh, I'm going to give it a fighting chance here with the Slim G. And um, there is a Sota Beams filter attached to this now, not because there's any RFI near me, but it, it made it easier to connect it uh, just with the reverse SMA. So there we go. Two metres FM for 12 quid. And if I drop it, it ain't too bad. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you, you can charge this uh, using USB-C, which is absolutely perfect if you're carrying a power pack for charging your phone, or in my case, it's now charging my GoPro, and um, it's the standard uh, Kenwood fitments. This is Mike, Mike Zero, Echo Foxtrot India Portable, QRZ. Echo Fox India Portable, uh, 2 Mike Zero, you'll go Queen Lima. 2M0 SQL, good morning Pete, uh, long time no here, you're 5 and 9 up onto Benavour, over. Yeah, thank you for five and seven, Pete. I'm, I'm using a £10 handheld off of uh, AliExpress, so it's working okay. Over, over. Yeah, cheers, Pete. 73 QRZ. GM1 TGY MM0 EFI Portable. Good morning, Charlie. Uh, great to work here. I'm on Benavour uh, in the snow and sun, thankfully, and you're 5 9 over. Yeah, you're a bit quiet at this uh, location, uh, Fraser. Uh, it's probably best to leave your GM1 TGY MM0 EFI. Thanks for five and five, and thank you for the call, Charlie. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good day. 7 3. 7 3, good luck. Thank you. Bye bye. QRZ, Mike Mike Zero, Echo Fox, Strut, India Portable. MM7, MM, Mike Whiskey Lima, are you there, Mike? Mike, Mike 7, Mike Whiskey Lima Mobile. Yeah, thanks for five and nine. And it's just a thin coating and it's a nice hoar on the rocks here. And uh, you're five and seven to me, Mike. And um, I want... Oh, 
Okay, I think there's more than one station on here. I, I can definitely hear Mexico, Mexico zero. I, I can hear you saying my call sign better than your own. Uh, if you could try again, please. Is that Mike, Mike 7, Mike, Oscar, X-Ray, Andy, over. Yeah, QSL, Mike, Mike 7, Mike, Oscar, X-Ray, and I've got you on Germany, Mexico, Sierra, Sierra, 225, over. Yeah, thanks Andy, have a good one. See you soon, 7-3. Well, there we go, I've qualified to summit on two metres with four contacts. And uh, I got a summit to summit in there as well. And is that, that was like, without even spotting myself. Because these radios are so cheap and so good, there's actually an entire community sprung up around uh, creating exciting and different firmware for these. Uh, you can actually open these up to receive from HF right through to microwaves. Now, do not try and transmit on anything other than uh, 2 metres and 70 cm because the filtering isn't there for the other bands. But it just shows what can be done with a chip and a software-defined radio. So there's loads of good firmware in here um, and you can do all sorts of stuff with them. Would you take this to the hills and, and use it in all seriousness or would you prefer to carry something that costs 20 times the price? Let me know.